I've kind of always just wanted to like tell stories and tell them in my own way. We wanted to wait uh, until Lewis was finished. We're getting a divorce. I told you so. It's about a love triangle. It's about not holding yourself back from new things. I'd, I'd like to think that I have made something that's kind of quirky and a bit original and kind of bring my own sort of original perspective to the film. Why is life so hard? Because people want different things. I've done a few uni projects before. Some of them have been not that professional, but I really found these two crews that I work with were really professional and um, <laughs> they were fun as well. They all got along, they were like a, a family really. Even just from Robin's directing, just some of the things he said has been able to make me think differently about my character. Just a few techniques he's kind of said. I've been like, oh, actually, that's interesting. I never thought about a character kind of that way before, so I've, I've learned a lot from him. You're priceless, bro. You need to be really diplomatic at times, but also very stubborn. You need to really, like, believe in what you think, like, in your vision. I learnt about the differences of opinion, how some people don't always agree with everything you thought was true about films, how difficult it can be, but also how like fun and rewarding it can be when it, when it works well. Tonight I've actually invited along my Year 10 media teacher. In Year 10 I just walked into class one day and was like, I want to I wanna do film. It's my job to kind of see the director's vision and continue the director's vision and kind of just help them to make the film that they set out to do. So I organise talent, I organise locations, catering, clearances, everything like that. I've always enjoyed editing ever since I could get my hand on an editing program and some old videos. I quite enjoy fast-paced editing and I really got that further developed with this film we've done. Vilmos told me earlier today, you know, I was over picking up, they're not gonna be home until at least three, four in the morning. It's a very stylized film. Pretty much all of the sound has been edited in, apart from the dialogue. And we took it to a place that was quite extreme in some scenes where there's still a cohesion between sound and image, but there's a lot of noise and confusion and it's a drug sequence so we could really take it to the next level. Without a camera filming it there wouldn't be a film. It's pretty important. I'm a pretty important person. Have you seen this film? <laughs> Almost entirely handheld. Erratic, dirty, dark, super dirty, filthy. Working with the director has been really good. He's such a good director. We're on the same level. What's this? It's been really good. And yeah, it's been, it's been hectic, but it's been a lot of fun. I've learnt a lot about myself, and in particular from the role of producing. Hopefully one day make a really good movie that other people watch and enjoy. It's just really exciting to be on set and to be in control of what's happening. You do it because you love it and you can see that through the way they worked. I really feel I'm a lot more prepared for the outside world. Just do it.